It just happened to work like that. Really good. I like it. Alright. Alright. I like your childhood thing on the ground. Are you going to be the only one sitting down? I don't know. What are we doing? I'm fat, so this way I hide my tummy. You're skinny. You got that military box. <laughs> ah. All right. Oh, my goodness. Are we rolling? Is yours rolling? Mine's rolling. Are we rolling? Yeah, you're you're hosting, man. It's your no, place. no, no, no. These are your bottles. All right, right. hey, Mark's Mark's Northwest Bourbon here at Marvin's Bar. Whiskey Wine 101. I'm just Quentin. Just Quentin. Just, just Quentin. Quentin. Com. <laughs> All right, so I uh, brought some Jim Beams for Marvin because he is a huge Jim Beam fan. Love and it. I have some stuff that he has never tried before. This single barrel I just got recently. This is going to be the first one on our list for us to try together. All right, so that Jim Beam single barrel, I cracked it open, tried it. Haven't gotten very far into the bottle because I was saving it to come over and uh, drink with him. All right, so you said you've never had any single barrels? Not the single barrel. All right. All right, are you the director, producer? Have you had this before? No, I haven't. You want to smell it? Sure. No, she wants to drink it. <laughs> yeah, I have to smell awesome. it. Oh, that smells good. I've had, I've had a Jim Beam single barrel, but not the 12 year. Wow, I'm being four. <laughs> So, no. All right, cheers. Oh, my bad. Cheers. Did it stop recording? It looks like the screen's on. Uh, I'm the back. Can you hit record again? Yeah, either way, we got more. All right. Yeah. Mm. <clears throat> this, this has a really uh, nutty, almost Booker's flavor profile to it. Maybe Baker's. Maybe Baker's? Baker's? Bakers more than Booker's? Yeah. Because it's got that boiled peanut with, with pepper on it kind of thing going mm -hmm. on. You get that? Yeah. You getting something that I'm not... Sweet caramel, peanuts, spice on the back end. Mm -hmm. uh, that's good. What do you think, buddy? Char? Little char? Yes. On on the on the back of the palate, mm -hmm. doesn't it draw? Yeah, right back there, uh, like right at the end. Uh, but it's sweet coming yeah, it's in. It's sweet and smooth up front. Uh, yeah, you get a lot of the the char, the uh, the spice right on the back. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I like it. All right, so that's just a single barrel Jim Beam. It was about forty bucks, something like that. All right, next we're moving on to a signature craft. This one is called the Whole Rolled Oat. Rolled Oat. It is. Uh, packing 90 proof, 11 year age statement. So you see the fresh crack, cracking the seal out right there. Nice. Are you ready? Yeah. All right, so we got two of these signature crafts to get through here. One of them is the, or the first one on deck is the rolled oat. Rolled oat. What is this? So that's 11 year. year. Nice. I need proof. Cheers. Ching. Wanderberg on the back end. Oh, Wanderberg. Oh, that's got a. That's not nutty. Hmm. It's almost like a honey nut cheerio. Like an oatmeal bar? Like yeah. A, like a kind bar, uh, one of them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Granola oatmeal <clears throat> bars. It's not as sweet as this. Right. More savory. Yes, it's got a savory, smoky note in the middle there. Mm. Like in the middle of the palate. You know, it's a barbecue thing going on. If we had some uh, smoked brisket, you know. Oh, man. From charred and twisted. Charred and yep. twisted. Absolutely. <laughs> or some of that smoked salmon. Mm. Oh, that was so good. Forget about it. Mm. Yeah, definitely. Uh, yeah. You can tell not as much. Uh, that's probably not on the bottom end of how much corn they could put and still call it bourbon. So 90 proof, yeah. 11 year, drinks smooth, um, but savory. Yeah. Definitely not as sweet as this. I'm thinking this is not as old. But yeah, the 11 year, I think the age on it is right. pretty good. Cracking the seal on the next one. 
I'm going to put that in my wisdom glass. This is the soft red wheat. It also has an 11 year age statement. So, a leader. So, Maker's Mark uses soft red wheat, I think. Yes. Uh, I'm curious. Because. Soft red wheat. I don't even know if my camera's on. <laughs> Is this 90 proof too? 90 proof, 11 yeah. year. All right, so 11 year, 90 proof. Um, Michelle? Oh, wow. That's, it's much softer. I'm in front of the panel right off the bat. But there's a, like white pepper. There is a lot of white pepper in Not the back. Not a dark pepper. In the back, yeah. Mm. It's like. So I, I would say this is more complex than this one, the rolled oak, I think. Right. Yeah, I mean, yeah. This is right up front with the flavor. Mm -hmm. uh, then as you go, you know, it's on, yeah. uh, pretty strong on the back end. This is pretty smooth all the way through, but you still get a all... A little oak on the back end. Yeah. I still get the notes, like, real yeah. subtle. Mm -hmm. I think it's really soft up front, and then... When it opens up, it gets really complex. Mm. Like there's layers to it. Where this one I felt was a cereal bar. Yeah. Now there's two other variants of the signature craft. Huh. One of them is the high rye, hmm. and the fourth. I don't remember the fourth one. I didn't get them. I only oh. got these two. Tannic. You get a drying on the end. Yes. So tanicky. So. It picks up that uh, the eleven year, but probably picks up a lot of that from the oak. Mm -hmm. All right, what do we got next? Uh, next is the the one I was saving to try the last of you. Twelve, 12 year. year signature craft. Uh, picked this one off up on base for forty bucks just on a whim because I saw it there and never seen it before, and I was like, oh, I'm gonna give this a try. And then, uh, like a dum dum, put it in my kitchen cupboard. And so it was one that I was going back for regularly after I had drank some good stuff out of in my bar. And this bottle started disappearing fast. I had a hole in it before I realized how good it was. And so I did a review on it uh, a couple months ago and uh, went back to get another bottle, and they don't have any more. So unfortunately, it is no longer available. It's softer nose-wise compared to this one. This one, I think, is uh, brighter. Yeah, I would say brighter. Yeah. Mm. Oh, that's good. Definitely oak heavy, in my opinion. Yeah, very oaky. Um, not as sweet as this one. Is this a single barrel or is this a oh, small batch? All right. I can see why that disagrees quick. Yeah. That's good. It just and goes down really easy. Yeah. And it's really woody. Mm -hmm. Lots of a uh, little bit of barrel char, but just a lot of oak. Not as much peanut as this. Right. I, I agree with that completely. So, yeah. These that one two, is super nutty. This is good. This is like, you know, classic sit down, drink, sip all night. This one is definitely fun party. Uh, fun party. party. This one is I'm nice. I'm gonna try number one again after going through those signature graphs. This is complex. Sweeter. This is sweeter. This hits sweeter. Yeah, it's definitely brighter. Yeah. This is refined. <laughs> what do you think? Like a little bit like a wintergreen mint. On oh. this one? Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. Like the chewing gum? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Like a little tingle and like that. I get the tingle. Yeah. I don't get the mint. It's good. Now you're making me think of chewing gum. <laughs> I don't get chewing gum mint. It's like a... Like a mojito mint or something? No, like a chewing tobacco mint. Oh, no. Like a menthol? 
Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. All right. So Mark's donating the rest of this. I appreciate it. Thank you. Happy birthday, son. Um, this one is also donating. Awesome. Thank you. And then somehow he's donating these two. All right. Thank you. I just forgot my bag. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to take home Quentin's Long Branch. That's a fair trade, doesn't it? Yeah. Nah. All right. So I like it overall. Great Jim Beam lineup. I love Beam, Baker's, Booker's, regular Jim Beam. Yummies. You guys? There, There is a, um, that boiled mm -hmm. peanut note that I get in all four of those bottles. I, so this is like crunchy sweet peanut. This is more of that southern boiled peanut to me. Okay. You know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, I get the mint I mean, now. It, it, it's Jim Beam. They know what they're doing. But on yeah. this one. Uh, it's pretty rare you get something from them that you don't like. Yeah. You know? I don't like the regular white label. I mean, it's it, it, it's their standard. Yeah, their they're <laughs> bottom shelf, uh, well pour, whatever you call it. Yeah, but the, I their, just don't like it. I don't like drinking it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's a... This went fast. It's a decent... Uh, yeah, that's a whole right. for. Yeah. I wonder if this is only on base. I've never seen it here in Washington. No, um, when I did the review of it, signature. somebody uh, somebody posted on on it that um, it was a very small release, like five years ago. Oh. And the the fact that they just randomly put it on the shelf on base one day was crazy because it wasn't there the month prior to. Probably in the. It's not there house. the month. Yeah. Like they like somebody just found it somewhere and was like, oh, we need to sell this. Probably because the guy that stashed it no longer works there. Okay, I I got a weird broccoli note on there. <laughs> Whoa, that was out of left field. I don't know broccoli. <laughs> like a steamed broccoli. I I haven't eaten eaten any broccoli. We're here at my son's birthday party. We've eaten lots of things, but no broccoli. I no, there's some uh, beef and broccoli. Is there? Yeah, I, I had that. I had some broccoli. All right. I had a lot of good food. Yeah? Yeah, there's beef and broccoli down there. Yeah. yeah. I haven't eaten it. All right, Mark, I appreciate you bringing these. Take it home, buddy. Thank you for joining us. Check out more awesome videos coming your way. Lots on the schedule. Appreciate Marvin for having us over. Quentin, thank you for joining us. Uh, Director Wonderberg, thank you for keeping things uh, on an even keel back there, keeping things under control. Appreciate you. Earn respect and joy. Cheers. Peace. I enjoyed this one. Dude, that's why that bottle had a hole in it. Really?